how would we pay for that? Mm. <laughs> I'm just trying to... That's the $80 billion question. <laughs> Imagine if the state were to lose $81 billion. That's how much taxes earned last year from school district property taxes. And now senators are evaluating whether or not they can cut those taxes entirely, effectively cutting tens of billions of dollars from the state. All the money put on higher ed, all the money in public ed, all the money for Medicaid, all the money for mental health, um, human trafficking, all the issues, things that the state has made priorities, we would not have the funding for, is that correct? if we didn't collect 81.5 billion. Last session, the Texas legislature passed sweeping property tax cuts. Now, Republican leaders, including Governor Greg Abbott, want the state to go even further. What taxpayers would benefit from even more is a complete elimination of that property tax rate altogether. Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick has now tasked state senators to evaluate whether or not the state can entirely get rid of those school property taxes or even property taxes entirely. Some lawmakers, both Democrat and Republican, express skepticism. Diversity in revenue is, is, is a policy that I think we need to acknowledge as we have these conversations. Uh, to me, it seems that we have an assumption that our economy will always be strong and have a surplus. But that's not really the case if we look at past history. With no state income tax and property tax cuts being reduced, that would leave the sales tax as the majority of money coming into the state. The Comptroller's Office says, though, the sales tax in Texas would have to increase from 6.25% today to around 22%, just to make up for losses if Texas were to get rid of property taxes. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.